guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen once again because we're gonna be making another cake. It is Mother's Day tomorrow. In celebration of Mother's Day, I am going to be making my mum a cake. I did actually ask um, Charlotte, my sister, who bakes as a little side hustle. I asked her to do this video with me, but we just couldn't get a date where we were both free to film. Um, so yeah, it is just me, unfortunately. Sorry. But I will try and get her in a video and my other sister um, at some point to do some cooking slash baking together. I wanted to bake a cake for my mum, so I thought I'd film it because I've not done a cooking one in a while. I've done like what I eat in a week and I feel like I'm always talking about food in my videos anyway, but I've not done a whole video dedicated to a recipe kind of thing. You guys seem to really like them. So yeah, I'm gonna be making a carrot cake. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. So yeah, if you enjoy baking or food content like me, make sure to subscribe and like this video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. But I've got a massive scrunchie because as much as my hair looks cute, I got it done at a GHD event. Um, it's going to be really in the way, so in a scrunchie it goes. Okay, so we've got the trusty Smeg mixer, and I've got all my ingredients laid out. Well, I think so. I've got a recipe from Jane's Patisserie today. Love her. need sunflower oil. I actually don't have everything out. I probably should. Sunflower oil. Four large eggs. Might as well get them all out for the fun. Light brown sugar. Got carrots. Got... Raisins, I didn't want to put raisins in mine. You can if you want, obviously. And nuts as well, but I just kind of like the simple one. We've got a zest of an orange, self-raising flour, bicarbonate of soda, mixed spice, ground ginger, ground cinnamon, and that's it. Also got some cute little flowers for the top because I feel like it's spring Easter vibes. Some mini eggs and I've got some other chocolates in the fridge. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm thinking like a yellow theme because I feel like yellow is, I don't know, it seems fitting for Mother's Day and spring. What is first? Also, I did um, cheat and buy the pre-made icing. I think I did this in my last cake video. First of all, I feel like it's boring to show you making ice in. Second of all, I was feeling lazy. So yeah, I bought some cream cheese um, icing flavor from Sainsbury's because cream cheese icing goes very well with carrot cake. Preheated the oven already. I'm gonna grate the carrots first actually. And it doesn't say how many, it just says grams, which I feel like is not the most helpful. But am I gonna have to grate them? and then weigh them. I guess I'm just gonna grate like a carrot at a time and then weigh it and see how much more we need. I don't really know, I'm just gonna wing it. Just chopped and peeled three carrots. I'm gonna start with those and see how much they weigh. Got this little grater from Ikea. Now, if you don't have one of these guys, they are life-changing. So good for grating anything. Obviously, I mainly grate like cheese and stuff. Did actually have a little accident with it. I left it on a hot hob, not ideal and very dangerous and it did melt and leave residue of plastic on my hob. So don't do that, but it's still usable. I'm gonna grate these carrots. But like I found out much later than I should have that carrots were actually in a carrot cake. The Betty Crocker mix of carrot cake, I was really tempted to get it because it's so good and so easy. You just add like eggs, I think, but I thought that is a massive cop out. Oh my God, this is a workout. Okay, not even half. <laughs> okay, I've made such a mess on this table, but I finally have 300 grams worth of grated carrots, which is quite a lot looking at it, but following the recipe, whoops. Okay, so I'm gonna tidy this up and then we can actually start making the mix. Pour the sunflower oil and eggs into a large bowl and add the sugar. Need four large eggs. Oh, three, four. We need 225 millilitres of sunflower oil. 
That obviously sounds like loads, but there's no butter in this recipe. So I'm assuming it basically is instead of the butter. But yeah, I, I know that oil in a cake means it's going to be really nice and moist. So eggs and oil. 275 grams of light brown sugar. In that goes. Mix lightly and combine, and then we're adding the carrots, raisins if you're using it, and orange zest. Why does that already look really nice? I'm gonna add the carrots. The zest of one orange. Then we need to fold that, so I'm just going to put it on really slow. Wow, looks so yum. I'll video it on my phone and insert it for you guys. Then we need to add flour, the bicarbonate, mixed spice, ginger and cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Easy peasy. And then it says, try not to over mix. So I have a feeling this is gonna be quite wet. Let's be honest, we're all just here for the decoration. I definitely am, yum. And then it just says, fold through the nuts. I'm not gonna do that. And then bake in the oven. I actually bought new cake tins because I wanted them to be a bit smaller. These are six inch and I think my other ones are 10. I'm actually going to not mix that anymore with the mixer because it does say, fold it so i'm gonna take it off if i can get all the carrots out they're all stuck yeah i'm gonna oh i'm definitely gonna like pour it everywhere can you see that i use a clean spoon mm. let's separate this into tins let's try not to spill this i think they're gonna be quite tall but we can always cut them in half and then have four layers. Yay, they look really good. These are gonna go into the oven. I wanna lift them up, but they look perfect. Can you see? No. Going into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes. I will come back when they're done and when we're ready to decorate. Hi guys, I am back. I can't lie, it's been hours because the cakes took so much longer than I thought to cook and then obviously they had to cool down so they are currently in the fridge but I think they're ready. I've got my cake stand which I'm gonna decorate the cake on and then I'll just take this straight to my mum's. This is from H&M and I've never actually used it. I've used it for like displaying things but I actually don't think I've put a cake on it before. So I've got my icing, opened one of the cream cheese ones well i've opened two but i've left one plain and then i've dyed the other one this really nice yellow color so i got some buttons but i did actually cut both layers in half so i've got four layers as you can see put a little bit on the board i don't know why this cake board's a little bit wobbly but you'll have to do it so i'm just going to put a little layer of icing i think this cake's too warm but honestly i'm getting impatient now it'll be fine i'll pop it back in the fridge once i've done the crumb coat second layer the third layer the icing is melting if you can be more patient than me i recommend because this is definitely too warm, but it's no going back now. I might as well build it up and then I can let it rest in the fridge. I don't really know why I did yellow because I'm going to do a white base and I feel like the yellow is now going to just ruin that. And that is wonky, but it's homemade and it's the thought that counts, right? This is a big fat mess so far. It's fine. See, I ruined it. Why did I put yellow in it? I knew I shouldn't have. I just wanted to be a bit fun, but... <laughs> this is so wonky. Guys, what is this, honestly? It's the wonkiest cake I've ever seen. I'm really hoping and praying. Oh, this looks awful. Um, I'm really hoping and praying that this crumb coat sets 
and then we can go in with another layer and fix this that is actually so bad i'm gonna put this in the fridge before it's too late <laughs> whoopsies so i'll see you when that is set fingers crossed i've been patient this has been in the fridge for 10 15 minutes i actually bought three tubs of cream cheese icing i'm glad that i did because I feel like I might need them to rescue this absolute disaster of cake. I'm gonna just pile on loads of icing and then obviously we'll take some off when I like smooth it out. I don't know, do you have high hopes for me at the moment? <laughs> That's everywhere covered. So now I'm gonna take off majority. Just put it back in here because I probably won't need it. That already looks better. And then I'm thinking to get the yellow and like pipe Sort of like a vintage style border at the top and then stick in some decorations. And then I think I'm gonna write mum in the middle um, in yellow as well. I have to keep one side thicker because obviously it's uneven at the top. Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? Okay. Does that look a bit more even? Yeah. I did just smooth the cake down and I feel like it looks okay now. Some yellow icing into this piping bag and I'm gonna write um, mum first in the middle. We'll do some cute swirls, add some decor and then hopefully the cake will be done and it will look really cute. You, so it's central and then M and another M here. Okay, why is that so cute? Swap out the nozzle. And I'm just gonna pipe some little rosette things on. Can I do some at the bottom? I did it. Now I've got to continue. Put some white chocolate buttons on these rosettes. I also got mini eggs, and I was thinking maybe just to pick out the yellow ones and just like scatter some on there, just so it fits with the theme. Uh, put these flowers on because I think they'll look really cute. I'm running out of storage on this camera. The one there. Might as well use these all because probably won't use them for anything else. I've just finished, I've brought you over so you can see up close. I actually think it looks really cute. I've added daisies, I mean, you can see the cake there, but never mind. I've added daisies all over it, even at the back. Some mini eggs, some white chocolate buttons. And I actually think it's really cute. It's quite wholesome and kind of on the theme of like my tumbler cake for my Valentine's Day video. So yeah, that is my cake. I hope you guys like it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did. Hope you had a nice Mother's Day, whatever you did. Sending love to you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.